One summer dusk, I sat in the back of the car watching the sunset. With the sea breeze blowing, the familiar melody in my memory seems to ring in my ears. For me, the car is my second home, and traveling by car has become another way of life. The needs of daily life such as sleeping and washing have already been overcome. Facing the vast and silent seaside, I felt that something is missing. Suddenly an idea struck me, the possibility to equip the car with high-fidelity audio. Would you like to indulge in beautiful melodies in a place where the sea and the skies meet with no one around? So I started to gather information about it but did not pursue the perfect sound effect. Instead, gradually optimizing the sound system with a reasonable budget. Hi-Fi Audio is the abbreviation for High Fidelity. Defined as a playback sound that is highly similar to the original sound. People who seek high-fidelity acoustics are called audiophiles. High-fidelity audio can be more realistic than ordinary audio, showing more details of music. But at the same time, it also needs to have a good music file to play. Common MP3 files cannot fully exploit the wide sound range of high-fidelity audio. With a suitable space, the equipment needed to constitute a high-fidelity sound includes Signal sources, amplifiers, and speakers, these three elements. In addition, it should be equipped with a clean power supply to get the ideal sound effect. Music files are digital information and the format of the files is very important. CD is composed of WAV files, not compressed, with good music quality. However, the music files are compressed for easy storage in mobile devices. Lossy compression, e.g. MP3, AAC files. Reduces the file size significantly, but also sacrifices many sound details. The lossless compression of audio, such as FLAC, APE, and ALAC, will not cause data loss. And you can hear the full performance of the music. The source is the equipment that reads the files, such as vinyl players, CD players, and mobile devices. These sources are already equipped with wireless transmission, I plan to use the tablet as a source. Bluetooth version 5.0 has significantly improved transmission bandwidth and distance. The transmission of lossless music by means of Bluetooth is a very mature technology. Enjoy the convenience of wireless playback with high sound quality by purchasing Bluetooth 5.0 compliant devices. The amplifier is a device that amplifies the signal. According to the different amplification components, there are transistors and vacuum tube amplifiers. A vacuum tube is a component that controls the flow of electrons in a circuit. Before transistors were popular, most electronic devices used vacuum tubes. Subsequently, with the rapid development of semiconductor technology, vacuum tubes, which are relatively bulky and have high voltage requirements, are replaced. However, because vacuum tubes sound better musically, they are still used in hi-fi audio. The difference in timbre between the two is due to the different distortion waveforms generated when amplifying the signal. Both vacuum tubes and transistors produce overtones of several times the frequency, called harmonic distortion. The even harmonics of vacuum tubes are more prominent, while transistors produce a relatively flat waveform. In addition, the signal will be clipped once the threshold is exceeded when it is amplified. Large dynamic tolerance range of vacuum tube for smoother waveforms. Therefore, the vacuum tube will make the human ear feel the tone sounds more warm. The sound performance of the transistor amplifier feels clean and clear. But the tone preference is very subjective, everyone has their own preferences. Because of my personal preference for classical music and classic songs. The sound of vacuum tubes is more suitable for my choice. I looked for a reasonably priced vacuum tube amplifier with Bluetooth function and. More importantly, a small size and DC power supply on Tubba. The speaker is a very important part of the sound system, which determines the performance of most of the sound quality and tone. Mainly composed of drivers, crossover, and cabinet. 
usually the loudspeaker with higher sound requirements will have at least a two-way split design for tweeter and bass monoblock. Most bookshelf speakers are of this split design. Another important item in the speaker specification is the frequency response, which refers to the range of sound frequencies that can be reproduced to the appropriate volume when the speaker is playing. The wider the frequency response value of the loudspeaker, the wider the range of music that can be reproduced. I have a pair of home speakers broken and left idle at home. Although cheap, it still has a splitter speaker. Having it in the car for its effect seems like a good idea. Power supply is the power source of the whole audio system. For audio equipment that converts electrical energy into sound waves. Utility power is a shared power source and is affected by the operation of various household appliances. There will be noise in the power supply, resulting in sound degradation. In addition, taking into account that the electronic circuit is originally working with DC power. The battery is used to power the amplifier, which has the advantage of providing a clean, noise-free current. I have a battery with 2.5 kWh capacity, which is enough to power the amplifier. Because people who listen to audio want a space where they can relax without disturbing others. I plan to use the car as a listening environment when I park. The interior space of the car is a good choice. By flattening the rear compartment space, it is a moderately sized, fully enclosed listening space that can easily transmit a sense of sound volume. And the interior is mostly covered with sound absorbing materials, so as not to cause too much reflected sound. Park your car in the unoccupied outdoor area, the volume is appropriate, is a comfortable listening space. The components of the amplifier include the main unit, two 6K4 vacuum tubes, Bluetooth 5.0 antenna, remote control, fiber optic cable and USB cable. Install the vacuum tube to the amplifier. After confirming the power supply specification of the amplifier, the power cable of the amplifier is made. Connect the speaker cable to the terminal of the amplifier first. Use a 24 volt lithium iron phosphate battery for power supply. Test if the power cable can supply power normally. Take out the tablet and turn on Bluetooth. Install playback software that supports lossless compression formats. Turn on the player and connect the amplifier. Then you can play lossless music files. By the usual practice, find a place to test. This time I came to the beach in Dongyeo, Ilan. As planned, I arrived at the beach in a night with full moon and with no one around. The moment the music started to play, I felt a huge rush of satisfaction. Like Andy Dufresne in the warden's office. With music to keep you company in subsequent van life. I am beginning to look forward to more trips. Life is constant motion. He says the water sides is home. But the man on the river, he doesn't live within a dream. For that man on the river dreams of a life. Life upon a green. Finally, this is the key to using high fidelity audio in van life. Lossless music files are very important. The sound range is limited by the MP3 file, which cannot present the effect of audio. Reasonable budget. Do not pursue high price, the equipment is to convey the beauty and emotion of the music. Bother no others. 
Pay attention to the surroundings, the crowd, and the volume adjustment. Reasons why not to use car audio directly. Using the car audio after the vehicle is turned off will cause the battery's power to decrease, leading to difficulties in starting and even affecting the life of the car. Driving is not suitable for listening to hi-fi audio. There will be a variety of noise and vibrations during the vehicle, listening to the audio should have a quiet environment. Into one big explosion in the sky Oh, why can all the dreamers live it just Thanks for watching.